My parents gave me up for adoption because they were still in high school when they had me. 24 years later, I found them. My mom had me when she was just 14, and I, 24M, was given up for adoption. Yeah, I know, crazy right? My parents told me about her growing up, and I still have the letter she wrote me, asking if they could give it to me when they deemed fit. It's crazy reading it sometimes and knowing it was a literal child who wrote it, saying she's sorry she couldn't be my mom and hopes I'm happy. She was open to having contact, but we moved from my dad's job when I was 11, and then it seemed impossible to find her. But luckily, I did. She's working at this small restaurant, and I keep going, but she doesn't know it's me. We talk sometimes, and she seems like a nice lady. Sometimes when she says something like, do you want to refill, honey? Or uses another term like that, I want to tell her, and let her know that I'm right here. I don't know why it makes me nervous. We talk sometimes, and she seems really genuine. If it's not super busy, she's more open to talking about random stuff. I literally drive two hours to come eat at this place just to see her. And it's like she knows me already because I'm there once or twice a week for the past three months, so she always says hi with a big smile. But man, if only she knew. Update one. Well, I did it. I told her, and yeah, it was pretty heavy. My heart was beating super fast the entire time. I waited for her to finish her shift until they were done closing up the restaurant. After she finished closing up, she saw me waiting in the parking lot. We waved and said hi to each other, but then I told her there was something serious that she needed to know. First, I apologized for keeping it from her for so long. She didn't react until I actually pulled out her letter. Then she started bawling from there, screaming and crying at the same time, and I didn't even have to finish the whole in her son's speech. She just saw it and knew. It was crazy. The next thing I know, she's hugging me instantly, but then she pulled back and asked if it's okay to hug me. Of course it is, and we're just there hugging and crying in the parking lot. It hit her heart. Her legs gave out for a second, so I had to actually hold her up while she's still hugging me for a minute. What really got to me was her saying, look how big you got. Also, hearing her cry made me cry too. She went back to open the restaurant, and we sat in there for hours talking about so many things. We had coffee, ate a slice of their pie, and just talked about anything and everything that came to mind. She told me that the second time I came to the restaurant, she got a feeling that I felt really familiar, but for her, it was hard to believe it could be me. So that feeling she had was pushed way down. She told me that for years after I was adopted, she would see kids around my age and used to think they were me. Then she would start crying for public. It really messed with her mind and made her depressed, so she didn't want to do the same when she first started seeing me at the restaurant. She said I looked so much like my biological dad when he was younger. We talked about him too. They stayed in contact with each other, in case I ever reached out to one of them, so it would be easier to contact the other. I didn't have any hope about finding my biological dad since he was never mentioned, so I'm glad they both planned for this future scenario. She told me about how they both wanted to keep me, especially my biological dad. He didn't want me to be adopted, but he knew they had to because they were just kids. It took him a long time to get past it after I was born. That's why he didn't leave anything behind, because he didn't want to believe he would ever get to see me again. We talked for hours, until almost two in the morning. She wanted to know everything about me, but her main concern was, am I happy? Were my parents good to me? Did I have a happy childhood? And I did. I told her, thank you for helping to give me this life. We both cried again, but she cried the most. Everything was very emotional for her. Sometimes she would look really happy, but then get sad again. After my 18th birthday, she was hoping I would find her, that's why she stayed in the same city. But since I didn't, she always thought maybe I resented her, wasn't told I'm adopted, or maybe had decided it was better not to have her around. It made me feel bad for not telling her sooner. She told me it's not my fault, and I did the right thing by going at my own pace. Honestly, she's so sweet. The way she kept looking at me with the biggest smile made me emotional sometimes. It makes you think, how can someone who's been a total stranger your whole life look at you with so much love? It's wild. We learned so much about each other. She asked me if we could have dinner soon to keep talking, and if, at some point in the future, I'm interested, come over to her house so I can meet her husband. That all sounded really great. We exchanged numbers, and after I left, she sent a text telling me, thank you for giving her this gift that she didn't know would ever come. My girlfriend came over, and she hugged me while I cried. I wasn't sad, these were happy tears. Everything went better than I expected. There was still emotionally heavy stuff, but I'm still glad that we got to open up to each other. Update 2. Lots of you asked to let you know how it goes meeting my biological dad, and to say it was emotional is an understatement. To be honest, this was more nerve-wracking for me because I didn't know anything about it. With my bio mom, it was different because I watched her from afar and got to know her a little before it all came out. I asked my bio mom if she could be there too just because she knows him better, so it was the two of us waiting for him at his part. He was already crying before we even got to him. This guy is strong too, so he pulled me in for the biggest bear hug, and we were both crying. He told me he wants me to know that they love me so much, and he loves me. I lost count of how many times he'd come back in for one more hug. This definitely got to him, and he kept saying, thank you God, a few times while looking at my face. Hearing him tell me how much they loved me even back then meant so much to me, and not gonna lie, that had me holding him tight too. I'm sure to everyone at the park, it was weird seeing three crying people. My bio dad said he cried so many times just driving over here, he didn't think he had any more tears until he saw us.
When we were all sitting down, it hit me that my bio mom was not kidding when she said we look alike. Obviously, he's older, but still, the similarities were crazy. He brought gifts too, which was a surprise. It was really nice. He told me I don't have to keep them if I don't want to, but he felt weird not coming with anything, and he's wanted to give this to me for a long time. One was a teddy bear holding a picture frame of him in the hospital holding me. He was 15 years old, it's still crazy to realize that. The other thing was a journal. The journal thing was stuff he said he started writing to me years after I was gone. He was in therapy, and that helped him cope, thinking he would give them to me one day, his way of still feeling connected to me. I haven't read everything yet, but some of the pages were his thoughts and as if he was talking directly to me. How he felt when they found out she was pregnant, then the adoption, everything going on in his mind when he first got the holding as a baby. I didn't even know he was at the hospital too. It was not what I was expecting. It really got me. I read some more of what he wrote last night that really got me crying. I'm sad to think how much this affected them emotionally for years. Also, I think it's pretty sweet he wanted to write this movie. We talked about his own life, which was pretty hard, his struggles with home life and the feelings he had about giving me up. Then he wanted to know everything about me, basically with the same questions my bio mom had. I made sure they knew they made the right decision because my life was pretty great. He looked like he wanted to cry when he knew that because that's all they hoped for, and it was something he always wondered about for years. My bio mom left a bit after we were more comfortable so we could talk more in private once it didn't feel too awkward for us. From there he told me stories about how he met my bio mom. Sometimes he'd point out stuff he noticed about me that reminds him of her or me and having similar likes. My bio dad was really open about sharing everything. Like he really was getting ready for this meeting. He hoped it would happen and prayed every day to see me again because he had so many things he wanted to tell me. Overall, a really good first meeting. I'm glad how it went. He's open to the idea of meeting my parents. After I told them about all this because they definitely want to meet my bio parents again if I'm comfortable with that, obviously if my bio parents are too. Let's see when that happens. I don't know how it's gonna feel for me. They've met each other before I was even born, but I never had them in the same place, so that'll be interesting. Me and my parents met up yesterday to have breakfast so I could tell them everything. My mom was so happy about how it went. She actually cried too when I was telling them about both their reactions. My dad was proud because he knew how hard it was in the months after finding my bio mom and not really wanting to make contact with him. I'm really happy to have their support because it's hard not to feel guilty about wanting to know more about my bio parents. They gave me a really good life, so for a while, it felt like maybe to them I was showing that it wasn't good enough for me and I'd rather have my bio parents. But they told me many times they wanted to do this for myself, and they know how much I love them. And I really do. Finding them and meeting them was hard, but it was so worth it to me. And seeing their reactions made it feel even more worth it. I still can't believe it sometimes.